This short video shows how to properly program, connect, and operate Nodin Model 7500 and 7500 FO pulse oximeters. The 7500 pulse oximeter model is designed for mobile and tabletop oxygen saturation and pulse rate measurement and is compatible with the full range of pure light sensors from Nonin Medical. The 7500 FO model is specially designed for use in magnetic resonance imaging environments. The 7500 FO model has the same functions as the 7500 model, but is configured for use of non an 8000 FC or 8000 FI fiber optic sensors only. All non in brand pulse oximeters are designed for use with non in brand sensors only. Do not use these pulse oximeters with other brand sensors. <music> Nonin sensors have an emitter that projects a tuned light wave pattern through the arterial blood and a detector which receives that light. Changes in the light wave spectrum during pulsation of blood generate a measure of blood oxygenation and pulse rate sent to the pulse oximeter. This 7500 oximeter is suitable for both mobile and non-mobile tabletop uses. Both can be powered by 100 to 240 volt AC wall power. You will see a plug icon on the display when the oximeter is using external power. The oximeter can also function at least 16 hours from a fully charged battery pack. The battery recharges when plugged in whether running or in the standby mode. Recharging takes about 4 hours when the battery pack has been completely depleted. It's recommended to set and check alarm limits and other oximeter settings prior to each patient use. The oximeter comes with a default low alarm setting of 85% SpO2, a high pulse rate of 200 beats per minute, and a low pulse rate of 50 beats per minute. These may be customized in the setup mode explained in the alarms and settings video for this oximeter. A patient security mode may be set to prevent changes to alarm limits and a number of alarm and functional settings. When the model 7500 is turned on in patient security mode, SEC on is displayed in the display area, and three informational tones sound. The upper alarm limits are then displayed, followed by the lower alarm limits. Refer to the instructions for use to learn how to set or cancel patient security mode or reprogram settings. Prepare the sensor and place it on the patient prior to connecting it to the oximeter. Proper sensor placement is critical for accurate readings. Follow the instructions for each sensor type to ensure secure, aligned positioning of the sensor on the finger or skin surface. Connect the sensor to the pulse oximeter by inserting the plug with the Nanin logo facing up into the sensor port on the front of the oximeter as shown here. The connector should firmly seat in the connector port on the oximeter. Press the on-off button to start the unit. The oximeter will run through a power-up initialization as it turns on. Watch to ensure all the LED elements and information appears as shown here. If any LED elements do not appear or if any of the displays do not appear as expected, remove the unit from use and return for service or repair. If alarms are enabled, they will remain silent for two minutes at startup to allow time for sensor placement or setting adjustment. Check the oximeter's time settings for accuracy during startup and reset the oximeter in setup mode if they are not accurate or appear as zeros. After the startup sequence, the oximeter will start displaying and recording SpO2 and pulse as soon as the sensor is placed on the patient. The SpO2 level is shown on the left side and the pulse rate on the right side. The pulse strength signal bar in the center indicates the signal quality. Green bars indicate a strong pulse signal. Amber indicates a marginal pulse signal. And red indicates a low pulse signal. It's a good idea to check pulse signal quality at startup and adjust the sensor for a stronger reading if necessary. Signal loss from the sensor is possible with hand or body movement or disconnection of the cable. 
A sensor icon will appear on the screen and the oximeter will alarm if this occurs. Signal can also be reduced by body position or cold conditions too, which may reduce blood flow. Check and correct the position of the sensor if it has moved, and recheck the sensor connection to the oximeter. The low battery indicator will blink when the battery is getting low and stay on continuously when critically low. Recharge the battery as soon as possible. Audible and visual alarms can be set to signal if either oxygen saturation or pulse rate go outside the predetermined ranges. Other oximeter functional conditions may also generate an alarm. For high priority alarms, the alarm LED will blink quickly red and a 3 beep, 2 beep audible signal will repeat every 10 seconds. For medium priority alarms, more often generated by an oximeter or sensor signal condition, the LED will blink amber slowly and three beeps will repeat every 25 seconds. You can silence the audible alarm for two minutes by momentarily pressing the alarm silence button. And you can return the audible alarm by momentarily pressing the alarm silence button. When oxygen level or pulse rate return to the preset range, the alarm will stop and return to normal monitoring function. Signal loss from the sensor is possible with hand or body movement or disconnection of the cable. Signal can also be reduced by body position or cold conditions, which may reduce blood flow. Check and correct the position of the sensor if it has moved, and recheck the sensor connection to the oximeter. If the sensor is in proper position, assess other causes for poor signal quality. Stored data is retained for the last 70 hours of use and then records over the oldest data in four-minute segments. Data can be downloaded and analyzed on Nanin N-Vision software. When you are ready to stop using the oximeter, simply press and hold the on-off button until the oximeter turns off. Hold for one second in normal function and five seconds if the oximeter is in patient security mode. Then you can unplug and remove the sensor. The 7500 FO model for MRI environments requires special caution for use. Use only non-inbranded 8000 FC or 8000 FI fiber optic sensors. Do not use cables or sensors that contain conductive wires. The 7500 FO oximeter and the connectors for the fiber optic sensor contain ferrous material and must be kept as far away from the magnet as possible at all times. With proper use, the Nanin 7500 or 7500 FO pulse oximeter will provide consistent, accurate oxygen saturation and pulse rate measurement. <music>